is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to our man, Alan Homosassa. What's going on, brother? It's, isn't it wonderful? I went ahead and invested in your uh, Tiger Dollars, <laughs> and I went ahead and got the gold report <laughs> for a year, and, and also your, morning, your, your call letter and stuff like that. That and I got over a fifty percent return in one day, not counting uh, everything else. But I just want to thank you. Tom's not perfect, but he tells you how to put your stops in, and he keeps your losses small. You can take your small losses, but then all of a sudden you'll be like Dave Bruce, and you'll hit a home run. I mean, a big home run. Yeah. And put the money in your pocket. Okay, I mean, brother. I You're awesome, man. Thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Be impeccable with your word. Re replace fear with love. The human mind is like fertile ground where seeds are continually being planted. When you're impeccable with your word, your mind is only fertile for the words that come from love. Your mind... Oh, no. When you're impeccable with your word, your mind is no longer fertile ground for the words that come from fear. Your mind is only fertile for the words that come from love. There we go. Spit it out, Tom. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 173, NASDAQ off 124, SP's down 23. Gold, gold contract down $10.30, trading at 1959 an ounce. We have silver down 38 cents, $22.84 an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck, $83.03 a barrel. Notes and bonds. 10 year note up 10 ticks, trading 111.14. The 30 year up 30 ticks at 122.16 in King Dollar. King dollar is trading up 485 ticks, 102.532. The euro is at 109. The yen's at 143, and the British pound's at 127 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. What do you have? Well, you get a doji lining up. Inside the spy, we'll see if we get a total rejection. Right now, you got a doji just lined up, though. And you get 51 million shares traded. We went higher yesterday with 56. You get a small ABC structure down. We're still on that small ABC structure down. That's a 442 number. You're at 448. We made it to 445 today. I rejected 445.27. And right now, you're at 448.35. We go into the futures. Let's go take a look at the futures here. So you, you're off the lows of the futures approximately 35 points. We pull this back. What you're going to see here, you came up, you spiked the open. The open is uh, 445.11. We just spiked it. You, you spiked up to 45.15. You know, as long as you stay over the 45.11, you know, that is saying that, okay, guess what? You're going to try to get higher. You get underneath that in the next 10 or 15 minutes, then, then it's going to get a little challenging. Because what you have here, even the highs of the lows, that's a high volume bar right there, which is at 4.496. So we'll keep our eye on that baby right there. But you have to still first get under the 45.11. That's how that works, okay? Because... That's the range. Now, it's just set up a range. See, there's the range right there. The Qs. We take a look at the NDX 100. What do we have inside the Qs? Qs set up right now. They are down on uh, 37 million shares traded. Now, this here is going to get interesting because this, this, we had, we had one ABC down, but the Qs are actually setting up another one. And we're going to get the volume. We're at 37 million. If we get 47 million, you're going to have the volume. You're going to have a larger ABC down, actually. And 
what is keeping the market up in general is right here, which is the 372.85. Now, the Qs are underneath it. That's what it, it basically rejected that number yesterday. It had 37 million yesterday. We're at 37 million. What did it have? 37 million? Yeah. We're at 37 million now. That number, though, you can see what it's going into there. That number is 86 million that you're going into. That being said, you'd want the Qs, if, if, if you're thinking we're going to go to a higher price, you want the Qs over or at 372.85. And right now we're at 371.39. We go into the uh, notes and bonds. So we take a look at the 10-year first. What do we have with the 10-year? You know, this basically saved itself last Friday in a monster way. Um, you had 1.2 million contracts today. It's, that's a small contract volume. We, there's going to be a huge amount of issuance this week. So this will move this around for sure, because if the issuance goes good, people will, will basically pile into this 10 because they'll be saying, OK, man, you know, that was a downdraft. Bottom line is still inside the range. That's saying that this still wants to go up to the 113.06. Right now, we're yielding 4.01. The high of last week was 4.17. Big numbers, man. Big numbers everywhere. And, well, uh, let's go to the gold contract because they're taking gold to the cleanest here. Now, you have the volume that's contracting, but I've seen this before, man. The bottom line, when it can't hold price, it can just grind you down. So gold contracts down 1020. You got 134,000 contracts. Now that's going into the last low that a rejected lower price had 156. But we haven't rejected price here. So what's game here inside of this contract is uh, 19, what is that, 19, 19, 1939. And right now you're at 1959. And we go to the good US dollar. We take a look at the dollar. And with the dollar, you know, the dollar had a slight retracement. You had another sign of strength out here today. The dollar is up 496. Had a high of uh, 102,796. We're at 102,535. Now, that the swing high, the first swing high is, that it's trying to take out is the 102,840. And if this is at ABC up, it's going to go all the way up. To, it's, it's going to blow away the swing point it's going after, which is the 103,500. And we'll go all the way up to the 104,695. So you get, we get a lot of action out here. There's no, no two ways about that. So inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness inside the NDX. You get uh, loose at the car company up 11%. Amgen's up 3%. Taken away from it, Datadog is getting smoked. That's down 17%. Get Dexcom off 9.5%. Um, Zscale is off 5%. You get CrowdStrike down 4%. Inside the Dow Industrials, the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow Industrials. Point-wise here, what do we have? Let's take a look. Point-wise, you got Amgen putting seven positive points. Caterpillar 2 taken away from it. Goldman down 47 putting 47 negative points into it, rather. United Health, 36. Microsoft, 34. Stay right there, folks. Come back when I'm at Mr. Basil Chapman. Tigers. Candlestick Pattern Analysis is a primary tool among successful traders, and you should be no different. Candlestick Patterns can demystify buy points, sell points, general price movement, and so much more. At 4 p.m. on Monday, August 14th, trader Teddy Kekstadt will be hosting a live, hour-long webinar on Japanese candlestick patterns. Teddy, the author of the Tiger Forex Report, has been trading for 33 years, and candlestick patterns have been instrumental to his success. For just $97, see how to use candlestick patterns to analyze stocks and options in order to capitalize on market swings, increase your odds of success, and decrease your risk. During this live webinar, you will learn when to use and when not to use Japanese candlestick patterns in this volatile market. Dispel the myths about this strategy and see just how much the mastery of candlestick pattern recognition can impact your trading. Visit TFNN.com today. TFNN. Educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading down 180. You get the Nasdaq off 133. S&Ps are off 24. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday. Don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding program here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get at Basil's uh, newsletter, the opening call, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go into newsletters. You're going to see it right on the left-hand side. You can get the opening call for one month for $149. You get it for six months for $695, which is a savings of $199 or 22%. You get it for one full year for $1195, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now they all come with a 30 day money back guarantee. Basil has a huge amount of archives, approximately 11 to 12 on the site. So bottom line, you're gonna get a great newsletter. You're gonna get a lot of archives, meaning how Basil looks at the, pro, it looks at the market each and every day and how we ride this wave. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Well, talk about waves. This is a bumpy one, that's for sure. Yeah. What what we're looking at, you know, it was like, I think it may be three weeks ago, it could even be four weeks ago. What I say to you is there's a particular technical tool that I've used for a long time, and there's a certain way that I look at it. And as long as that remains positive, then you have to use other tools to get the turn. So I spoke to you about this nine, 14, nine period moving average over the 14 or under the 14 period moving average. And I said in the daily chart of the Dow, he has the one on the left, there's the weekly in the middle, or the monthly on the right. Um, all the technicals are really strong. I have to use a different technique in which I can get some kind of a sell signal in the Dow, and then it has to be upgraded to a sell mode. And I, I did that on the, on the very day of the high, August the 1st at 35,679 was the high. That was the day we actually shorted the Dow. Uh, we still have call long positions from way back, but we want it on a trading position. But I'd say to you, and I'm going to move this over to this particular chart right here. Now, Basil, what you're saying, I just want to go over this just for a second. So what you're saying is that the, all the indices are under the nine right now. No. So. What, yes. What I'm saying is, let me, I'll get you it right now. What I am saying is that all the technicals in the daily, weekly, and monthly chart of the Dow are very strong. One technical indicator that I use, which is on balance volume, gave me a sell signal on the first in the Dow. Okay. And now I'm going to show you something very interesting. 
So this nine period moving average, the chart that I showed you this last week as well, I said the chart that I'm showing you has this nine period moving average green right. when it is over the black 14 period moving average. It did go pink back in May for a while and then it went back to green. It's been ever since and I spoke about in internal highs and residual highs and I thought that this, this M-shaped pattern right here was going to give me some kind of a sell signal, which it did. <clears throat> However, look at this. Even this morning when the market was really 400 points, the Dow was down 400 points, the market came back. And that nine-period moving average still hasn't closed lower. So even though we are, we are, we are still we are short this particular position and as we are still in the money, look at what's happened to the S&P. <clears throat> the S&P today went pink. Finally, and it only had one or two pink days back in May, but it's been green ever since April. What was it? April the uh, no, that's March the 28th. <laughs> this nine period moving average, even with all the vicissitudes, all these sharp pullbacks, that green period only now has gone pink. Look at the QQQ. Same thing. This one also only went uh, for a brief period back in May, also back in March, it turned green. But now you can see it's starting to come back quite sharply. Look at the um, IWM, Russell 2000. This is the daily chart because the 9 was so strongly over the 14, yeah. even with this very big weakness. And actually, the IWM has given back quite a bit from the high of just a few days ago. It's still green. So this is an indicator that I like to use. I use it uh, sometimes at my peril because I try to use other things. To, and I'm always looking to try to get a top or a bottom. And one of the things is if you can get almost the exact high or the low, it just gives you some room to breathe with all these bounces like yesterday's bounce. Everything still held nicely. But then I wanted to show you something else. Within the context of candles, uh, there was this, almost a doji candle at the high of August the 1st. And it came down sharply, and then it gave what I call an inverted red Chapman Wave Roman candle uh, on uh, what's today? Today's uh, Tuesday. So that was on Friday, and I said if we can see the Dow up over 35,000, I think uh, 370. I think I said for 35 minutes, there's a chance we could test close to the previous high. That's Friday's high. Well, we didn't get there. We had a really good strong move. Didn't take out Friday's high. And then today we took out the low of Friday. I mean, if ever you're looking at volatility, it doesn't look like it on this chart. But if you're live right here in the den and you're looking at these prices, this is these are big moves. And now the candle, as we're talking, the candle is really not, it's quite a bullish candle, actually. And the 9 is still over the 14. So it's a step-by-step -step process. But what I have said is that the SMHs, the semiconductors, kind of give clues. And they made a double top high on the 31st of July, 161.17. Uh, a, a day, two days later, at, just before the open, we actually shorted this, and it's been quite successful. But my contention is that the semis usually lead the markets up and down. Within the very short term, you can get variations. So I'm watching this very closely because from the action I'm looking at now, it seems to me that there are, we've taken off quite a, quite a number of positions within the longs that we have so that we've whittled down to keep a core position. I think I might be looking at putting some of them back now in certain areas because today was the opportunity to close really ugly. It could still happen. The day is young. But I think that this is actually not bad action at all. And it's telling me that the, that fund managers are trying to use the dips to buy and that until I get, and I'm going to go back to this again, until I really get this nine period moving average and you can actually see in the SMHs, the SMHs look at deflected lower. So that is an S. That means that the nine's going to be negative from tomorrow. Um, until I can get the Dow, that nine period moving average turn pink and hold pink for about three sessions. I, this is just waves. It's like riptides. Ba waves are buying and selling, but I'm seeing one by one the key I indexes like the uh, S&P, like the Qs, like the SMHs, like the IWM start to falter here. So I think that we in a consolidation phase. 
it didn't go down as quickly. And that's the thing about this nine period moving average. I'd warn subscribers, I said, it's not going to be easy when that nine still stays over the 14. Uh, it's, I call it my technical tool of last. Uh, this is the, the last, like, like the Fed is the, the bank of last resort. So this is a particular indicator I use as last resort because it's still holding. The other ones have been very weak. So I can see that there's, I went to the test today and we've got the test and that tells me that there's a rotation going on and that if you're in the right sectors within the rotation, you might be able to alleviate the, in the, the tension of, of some of the indexes going down deeper. But I, I'm, I'm actually impressed with today's action. I didn't think I'd be at the uh, beginning of the day, but I am now. Yeah, no, there's no doubt. You made a great analogy there. There's no doubt. They're like a riptide. <laughs> it is. Listen, <laughs> folks, it's very easy to get Basil's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go into newsletters. You're going to see it right on the right-hand side. Hit that button. It's the opening call. Basil, you have a great night, a safe night. We look forward to the show tomorrow morning. Thank you very much, Tom. Thank you. you. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now down 154. Nasdaq's off 123. S&Ps are off 22. We'll come right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. .com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow Industrials right now down 165. We get the Nasdaq off 123. S&P's off 22. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Tim Ord, as we do each and every Tuesday and Thursday. Remember, you can get hold of Tim every trading day at Ord, O R D dash Oracle, O R C L E dot com. That's Ord dash Oracle dot com. Tim Ord, what's going on, brother? 
Well, do you get my charts? I have your charts. I have All it right. up. Uh, yes, uh, right. I do. Some real interesting things going on here. Um, actually, uh, the trolls are starting to come out, at least on my side, as far as uh, the gold market, not so much the S&P market, but the gold market. And that's usually a pretty good sign that you're getting close to the turning point here. But anyhow, the, the, we'll, we'll get right to it. The bottom window is a 50-day average of the GDX up-down volume percent. Yep. And this chart goes back to 2013. And every time uh, that indicator got below minus 20, the market flipped sideways. And if you look at the top window, which is GDX, I marked the times, actually circled in red, when that indicator got below minus 20 or lower. Okay. And, and the market... You know, flipped sideways for several weeks. Even, you know, that 2016, I think, flipped sideways for several months. And I think we had this on before, uh, several months ago. Or, yes, uh, we, we did. We talked about it. Yes. I think a lot of times when this indicator hits minus 20, the market flips sideways. And in June around June 15th, it uh, hit below minus 20. And more or less, uh Basically, since May, we've been br pretty much going sideways here. Um, so, and every time this market went sideways, if you notice, the indicator kept going up. Okay. So, so that's a positive versus We're pretty much uh, right now. Uh, we're pretty much m matching the uh, uh, late June, early July lows. Right. And and uh, so, so what I'm trying to say is. Even though we're pretty much unchanged over the last month, this indicator keeps going up. Right. And well, we so actually did that's, today. That's a, I'm sorry, Tim. What we actually did today uh, is pretty is pretty cool. Actually, we spiked the low of last of uh, June by ten cents. It's going to have light of volume and a rejected lower price. It rejected the. Uh, 2876. We went to 2867 and now we're 2915. The volume right now is only 10 million versus 17.5 million. So this is intriguing, right? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty, especially uh, like I said earlier when we, when we first came on, you know, the trolls are out, you know, and, and whatever. <laughs> and so I'm thinking this is probably, uh, you know, if the trolls really kind of out and criticize, you know, you, they're usually pretty good at picking. I uh, say turning points in the market. So. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> so, yeah. so anyway, but go back and actually look at the. Uh, uh, this is a, a pretty good comparison. If we go back and look at the June or the 2016 low when it hit below minus 20, actually got lower than that. And as the market moves sideways over the next six months, that indicator went basically straight up. Same thing is happening with basically all those conditions I have circled in red did the same thing. What I found out, the rally really starts is when they both, or when the this indicator, the bottom indicator, up down volume closes above zero. Okay. And that's if it once it closes above zero and stays above zero, that's when the 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 rally uh, really starts. And that's and all of that blue to sh shaded area. Yep. Um, is is when that uh, indicator is above zero. So I don't know what. I don't have that number right now, what that number is, but when I put this uh, on earlier today, it was minus 250, which is almost to zero. I uh, see. So, and, we're, and we're basically testing, you know, the previous lo uh, lows of, of June and early July. So, you know, we could be looking at the low right here right now, or we're off and on close to it. It's not weeks away. There could be, a you know, if the market... Uh, rallies any at all from this point, most likely that indicator will close above zero, suggesting rally will start. Yeah, so, they never make it easy I, I, in the gold market. There's no doubt about that, man. Yeah. Yeah. It flipped, it flipped the chart, too. Okay. Uh, this is a, um, a a lot shorter time frame. And um, what I actually want to point out, you know, there's, there's uh, programs out there that they call, uh, I forgot what they... Uh, Anyhow, the, the, what happened in the past happens in the future. And if you can identify padding recon, recognition is what I'm trying to, yeah. to point out here. And I have a circled area back in uh, late 2021. Yes. And I, 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 lit, you know, I had a, a low area and, uh, 
labeled number one, then a high area number two, and then a three. And if you look at that pattern, we're similar here. You know, we had a, a double top at two. We pulled back but kept above the previous lows of one. That's yes. what we're doing right now. And we're having a bullish divergence, you know, as this indicator, those two bottom indicators, we're both making higher highs as the SPs are making lower highs. These two indicators measure the up-down volume and advanced decline. So it's kind of an internal strength indicator. It tells you what's really going on with GDX in itself. So I'm thinking we're looking uh, pretty close to a low in this vicinity. And if uh, circled the, the one in uh, early 2000 or late 2021, works out to be similar to what we're doing right now, Right. And the next rally should take us above uh, uh, number two. I see that. So, yeah. Yeah. So I'm thinking this is pretty close. You know, they look really similar, and that's all that needs to happen. They don't have to. They have to rhyme. They don't have to match perfectly. Right. And right. I'm, I'm thinking these two patterns are rhyming right here. Yeah. So. Um, pretty cool. Time will tell, but uh, you know, this thing could kick a kick in gear. I think. You know, a matter of days. You know, maybe I don't know. Maybe quicker. I don't know. So nice. I want to point that out. Okay. So, so then, want to go to number three? Yeah, we we can do number three real quick. We got time. No, we get time. Uh, I'm going to keep you on another right. sector. Uh, sector uh, anyway. So that's that's because I want to talk about the the S and P's. This is going to be the S and P's we're talking about now, right? Yeah. 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 The S and P's. Well, last Friday, I got it marked um, 1.79 on that trend. Yes. And a 440 down tick ring. When that happens, that that's what I call a bullish combination. When that happens, the market makes a bottom that day to as late as two days later. Well, if you notice that volume on last Friday had high volume. Yes. And it had a big spike in volume. And a couple of days before that, you had another big spike in volume. That, that a couple of days, or it'd be what, it'd be Friday, it'd be Wednesday. Last Wednesday kind of failed because you, you broke a new low on basically increased volume. But the volume really jumped up about 30%, suggesting another exhaustion move. But the day of last Friday had panic in the ticks and trend. And panic always happened at bottoms. Uh, so I was looking to, to get bullish on a test of Friday's low on lighter volume. Uh, I, I did this earlier in the day today, and volume is going to be much lighter. Um, if we rally too much today, you know, uh, I may pass on that trade because the upside is basically Friday's high because that had high volume. And it's also last Wednesday had high volume. It's also a gap up there. Right. So those two high volume days, you go up and test the previous high and on uh, yeah, lighter just, volume, just, you can't get through it. Just stay right there for a second, Tim. We're going to take a quick break. Right. Stay right there, folks. Tim and I are going to be coming back as we're going to be talking about the S&P right now and, and kind of like where the gap is and the way down and what uh, Tim's thinking about that. We have the Dow Industrials right now down 172. Nasdaq's off 127. S&P's are off 23. We'll come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, 
Trade LABU or LABD. Directions Daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. The Dow Dow Industrials down 149. You get the Nasdaq off 116. S and P's are off 20. We're talking with our man, Mr. Tim Ord. We are talking about the uh, S and P at this particular point. And don't forget, folks, you can meet. You can reach Tim every trading day at odd-oracle.com. Yeah, so Tim, so I, I, I'm looking at this, this chart that you're, you're looking at here. So let me ask you this, is that uh, when we look at the high, so we have that high volume high. In this particular right. case, you're figuring that you, the, the gap is going to be, now the gap's going to be resistance, right? Is that correct? Yeah, the gap is going to be resistance at one point. You know, that bearish engulfing pattern, and that was uh, uh, July 27th, that yes. bearish engulfing pattern. And it had a big, not a big jump in volume, but... It was a good one, though, yeah. Highs are right. tested, and I thought we'd go back up and test that high. Right. And I don't think we're going to get through the gap. If you look at those volume, you know, those two days where that gap is, you know, uh, last Friday we didn't uh, had high volume, and that Wednesday where the gap occurred last Wednesday. Right, because also had high volume. That's quite a bit of resistance there. Two days, not just one day, but two days. So, you, 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 that my opinion, if you go up and get into that gap, it's going to be on lighter volume. That gap's going to be resistance. Right, as and, Tim uh, and what Tim's talking about, folks, is that when we first, you know, had the gap, the gap did ninety-three million. Then the second high volume day, you know, had a hundred million. Um, and yeah, that's I. I and of course, today we only got fifty-seven million. Um, we'll see how this shakes right. out. Yeah, pretty cool how this is setting up, actually. Right. So, you know, we we tested uh, last Friday's low, which you said it had $100 million. And so, you know, if you look at today's volume, we're not even going to come close to that. And that's the reason why um, the market's rallying here. It couldn't get through Friday's low. Um, so if it can't take out the previous low with volume, it'll try to take out the previous high with volume. Well, the previous high... Is pretty much where that gap is, right? So, or you, you can take Friday's high, which is yes. the same, pretty close to it. Right. So, if we go up there and test that area on lighter volume, that's going to be resistance. Right. So, it's, it's kind of garbage. You know, if we keep rallying here on the close, I might pass on this trade, um, only because there may not be enough room. You know, if you're only getting a percent out of this thing. No, I, I can see that. Know, I know. I know what you're saying. Right. Yeah, you know, then why take the risk, you know? And, right. And here's another thing. Uh, from yesterday, we, we uh, let's see, yeah, yesterday we clo we created a gap. You know, we, we gapped up yesterday. But yesterday was Monday. We gapped up, left an open gap, and we're, we're filling that gap right now. Yes, we are. And, and we're filling that gap on higher volume. As, as you're speaking, I have the spy up, Tim. That's what I'm doing, okay? Right. So I just changed and, charts just for a second because the the fill of that gap and the side the spy would be four fifty seventy three. You know we're below it right now, but that's what we're trying to do. There's no doubt about that, man. Yeah. Right. So if now you fill that gap on higher volume. Okay. So so now you you got a little bit of a 
uh, uh, you know, because if you test the, if you test the gap on lighter volume, the resistance. If you test the gap on higher volume, which most likely today's volume will be at least equal, if not higher, than the gap we created on Monday. So that means we could test it again. So it could be a little bit mushy in here. Is what I'm thinking. Right. You get what I'm saying? Oh yeah, no, I definitely or, do. What well, you know? It's intriguing. If I can just switch gears on you just for a second. If you go over to the cues. You know, the, the SPY and the Qs are set up differently. And if you go to the Qs, which is so interesting, is that what's stopping them like a, in like a heartbeat is the day going all the way back to, let me see what day this is, into the 16th of June. You know, we had 80 million shares there. The Qs, that price point was uh, 367.46. You know, yes, and today we made it down to 368, but you can see you're talking 40 million going against 80 million. <laughs> it's like, okay, man, <laughs> you know, it's. All right, that's the, uh, I'm kind of, I just got over there. You see and, what I mean? Yeah, it's a little bit. Uh, we're also running into the highs of June here, too, which is sport area. Yes, no, yes, exactly, exactly. And, uh, and uh, so we broke a new low. Although the previous on lighter volume, yeah, there's a gap up. Uh, yeah, there's a, high, there's a high volume gap there too. Yes, uh, there uh, is. Last Wednesday, there is. Uh, which is around 380 or so. That's probably could stop it if we ran into that gap yep, on lighter volume. I see that. Right. So it's kind of a mush market, and that's what we're going to kind of deal with probably over the next month, or maybe even two months. I think okay. it's just a garbage market. Yeah. So it's it's going to be. You know, the trending market, you know, when the VIX stays below 17, you got a good chance of a trending market. And now the VIX is kind of rising, you know, it's close to 17 and stuff. So it's going to turn into kind of a trading market. And if you stay too long on one side, you may get it eaten up a little bit. But I think yeah. ultimately we still get down, you know, we, we talked previously about that 420 area uh, on the S&Ps. I think that at some point before the summer's over, that may be tested. And that's where the next, I think, major buy signal is going to occur. That's 420 on the SPYs. So right. but between now and then, it could be a little bit rough, I think. So, so is it, this, is, this is quite a rejection of lower price today, for sure, man. And you have lighter volume. I mean, yeah, the S&P's right. just rallied, what, 82? So you got 18. You got 38 points. We just rallied off the bottom, you know. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, uh, so I don't know. If it gets too close to that, you know, upside, you know, I might just pass on this trade. And, yeah, but, no, I can see know, that. We may come back down a little bit, maybe get some more energy in the trend, you know, and maybe try again. And, right. You know, I don't well, know. Well, particularly, uh, I mean, because I when, when, I, when, I look it, to. when I look at the SPY, Tim, right, it's still saying to me that we got a small ABC down, like the 442, that, you know, now it's turned into a complex one because, you know, last Wednesday, when's, when's no, let's see. Today's Tuesday. You know, last Friday we took out a B point, took it out with volume. You know, like it'd be a 442. Yesterday it turned into a complex one. Now it's a complex one again. Do you know what I mean? But so yeah, it's gonna get yeah, interesting here. So I know no. you play options. You know, I wonder if you caught that trade this morning. Yes, um, I did. <laughs> I did. Yeah. <laughs> you still long? No, 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 no. I caught the shot side. <laughs> Okay. And I'm out. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, but yeah, we're going to have to talk about that one of these days. And yeah, get a game those, what we're talking about, folks, is the one day options. They're, they're something else, man. But you better make sure. Tim and I have done hundreds of thousands of OEX options. And that's, <laughs> this was, yeah. this was white lightning that's in spades out here today, Tim. <laughs> yeah. I could imagine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cause it, they don't even buy, I don't think they even trade anymore. They don't. The OEX they, they don't. They don't. They don't. And the, the difference yeah. is, if you're traded OEX options, folks, you want to look at these, because the difference is there is the spread is like a penny. You can get out of 100 contracts on a spread with one penny, two pennies at the most, which is unbelievable. So, yeah, you know, a lot of liquidity. It's a lot of liquidity. Now, I only trade the spies. I don't trade, you know, they have the spies, they have the cues. I only trade the spies. So I don't know, the, you know, but I'm sure, well, I'm not sure because I, I only trade the spies, but liquidity is great. Tim, you have a great night, a safe night. We look forward to speaking to you on Thursday. All right, thank you. Thank you.
Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. We have the Dow Industrials down 138. NASDAQ's up 98. S&P's off 16. We'll come right back. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Let's go to William. William, what's going on, brother? Oh, not too much. Maybe Tim has already answered the question, um, but he, the, the GDX would be something bigger than what I'm looking at, which is um, Newmont uh, Corporation. Okay. Um, they came out with a horrible um, second quarter report. And I'm just wondering, can they build, what have they done to build, to do that? I mean, it's a big company. Well, they, they have a strike that's going on in Mexico in one of the largest mines. You know that, right? Do you? Maybe? No? No? Yeah? No. I see. Okay, yeah. So what's going on in Mexico is th there's a new law in Mexico, and it's, it's pretty dangerous, okay? So they have a strike going on. It's been going on for two months right now. And Newmont has fulfilled their obligation. I looked into, the, the, like, the numbers, right? But they're still mm -hmm. on strike. So Newmont's filing something with the courts. But the new, we'll see how this new law is. What, what's happened is that the new president there um, is basically they want they want more money. That's what that's the bottom line. Um, you know, so I can see how they made a lot less because the. Let me see if I can find this here for a second. One second. 
Okay, so, yeah, here it is. Okay, so, um, Newmont filed an impunity case against Mexico's federal labor court, uh, said in the statement, central to the union's allegations of noncompliance. Newmont said it complied with the calculation and payment of profit share and is per the law and the labor agreement. And that's a, that's a, that's a monster mine, this one right here. So that's why, you, you know, that's, that's what does happen when you have labor problems, that's for sure. And, they're, they're, you know, and they're not going to go away quickly. Because all so uh, like if you if, just go ahead and switch over to FCX. Um, I don't think I would. No, I, I wouldn't. No, no, because Newmont's all here. What? Let me do this quick for you. Newmont is spread out. See, which which is actually better for you. One second. Revenue. Come on, there you go. Okay, see, watch. United States, twenty-four million. United Kingdom, eight billion. International, three point six billion. You know, they, 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 have, they have plenty of other places. You, you follow me? Yeah. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. That was a quick hour. Thank you.